Good day, everyone. We are done with the descriptive statistics section and now ready to introduce probability. In this video, we will focus mainly on the basic definitions. So here are a few definitions that we'll have to use throughout the probability section. First of all, a random experiment. A random experiment is an experiment or a process for which the outcome cannot be predicted with certainty. A sample point is denoted by a lowercase omega. So in this course we get to practice our Greek. A sample point is one potential outcome of a random experiment. The sample space is denoted by an uppercase, a capital, omega. The sample space consists of all possible outcomes of a random experiment. An event is a subset of the sample space. An uppercase letter, usually a Roman letter, is used to label the event, and it's made up of a list of sample points. The cardinality of an event is the number of sample points that it is formed of. So we use the number symbol to represent the cardinality of an event. Here's a quick example to put these words into highlight. So suppose a regular die is tossed and its outcome is noted. The example here describes a random experiment. So the list of possible outcomes is known, but one cannot tell for sure which one will arise on a given trial. The sample space, which consists of all possible outcomes, is uh, denoted by omega in uppercase letters and is filled with the entries 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so all the potential outcomes of throwing a die. The individual outcomes are called sample points. So one could be called omega one, so the first of the outcomes. Omega two is two. Of course, we could have said omega six is one as well. These are just names that we're giving to the outcomes themselves. A, obtaining an even number, is an event of omega. In listed form, we would say that A is formed of the outcomes 2, 4, and 6. So as you can see, it's a subset of omega and is formed of three sample points. The cardinality of A is denoted by number A and is equal to 3 in this case. Whereas the cardinality of the sample space, so number of omega, is equal to 6. When it comes to probability, if a given random experiment is formed of sample space omega, and if A represents an event, then the probability of event A being realized is denoted by P of A and is calculated by finding the ratio of the cardinality of A over the cardinality of omega. For example, a regular die is tossed and its outcome is noted. And let's say A represents the event obtaining an even number. As we said earlier, the cardinality of A is 3, whereas the cardinality of omega, the sample space, is 6. So the probability that A will occur is 3 over 6, or in this case 50%, or 0.5. All of these are acceptable presentations for probability. Now, suppose two regular dice are tossed and their respective outcomes are noted. This time we need a pair in order to represent the list of all sample points. So the sample space is now formed of the possible outcomes 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, etc. And eventually we would get to a scenario with 6, 4, 6, 5, 6, 6. The first entry in the pair is the outcome for the first die, the second for the second die, even if they are of the same color and could be perceived as being indistingu indistinguishable. 
we have to assume that we can recall who the first die and who the second die is. There are 36 possible outcomes to this random experiment. Omega 1, which consists of the pair 1, 1, is one sample point of the experiment. A, obtaining a sum of 6, is an event. It consists of a subset of um, outcomes of omega. In listed form, A would be obtained from the combination of 1, 5, 2, 4, 3, 3, 4, 2, and 5, 1. So as you can see, a certain number of sample points fulfill the event obtaining a sum of 6. The cardinality of A is 5, whereas the cardinality of omega is 36. So the probability that A will be realized is 5 over 36. Some last definitions. An event A is called certain if the probability of A is 1. An event A is called impossible if the probability of A is 0. Staying in our situation where two regular dice are tossed and their respective outcomes are noted, the event A obtaining a sum of 1 is impossible, since all sums will be of at least 2. Therefore, the probability of A in this case would be 0. The event B obtaining a sum that is less than 15 is certain, since the sum of two die cannot exceed 12. So P of B would be 1.